你好，我是 Katrina。Uh, in this video lesson, I would like to explain、uh, the question、uh, that came up a lot from my YouTube viewer and my students.、Uh, what is the sign? What kind of character you are using? Your character is different from my Mandarin teacher. Well, I'm sorry. My video lesson, all my video lessons are with traditional Mandarin character. Traditional Chinese character. Since some of you might know, I'm from Taiwan. In Taiwan, we use traditional Chinese character, not because I don't want to use simplified. So for me, it's just、uh, more easier. It's much easier to use、uh, traditional Chinese since it's more like a habit. Since my computer is all with、uh, traditional Chinese, and also seems that I was growing up with traditional Chinese, I can read simplified Chinese, and I can write simplified Chinese, and I can teach simplified Chinese. It just my habit. So my video lessons are all with traditional Chinese characters. If you don't mind, I can switch my traditional character to simplified, but. I was thinking that there are so many YouTubers and the online Mandarin teacher. They are using Simplify. So what's the point? I'm the same with other teachers, right? And then I'm from Taiwan. I should use、uh, traditional Mandarin. All right. So for me, that's just、um, yeah easier. And also, I can show people that I'm from Taiwan. This is where I'm from. So yes. But all my video lessons, I mean, like official online lessons, I have the PDF file. I put all simplified and traditional characters to my online PDF file. So、uh, it's an option for you. You want to learn traditional Chinese or to learn simplified Chinese? It's all up to you. Don't really mind. And as to the、uh, pronunciation,、uh, yes, I still use Pinyin because it's easier.、Uh, in Taiwan, we don't use Pinyin for your information.、Uh, we use. 注音 ，OK， 注音 is another system for pronouncing Chinese characters. So, um, for example, you will see a b p m f in Pinyin that is b p m f, right? It sounds b p m f. But in Taiwan, we use different symbol. Not use. Ah,、uh, we don't use the English alphabet. We use the other symbol that we created. That is b p m f. They are all b p m f, but it's different. Just different symbol. So I got a comment. Ah,、uh, from the same comment from、uh, different people. Ah,、uh, saying that oh, it's so weird that you are from Taiwan. Yes, you are using traditional Chinese, but why you are using the Pinyin? You should use ah.、Uh, 注音 and you should use traditional characters that you know that to represent that you're from Taiwan. But basically, this is a very easy answer. I use traditional Chinese、uh, because I'm used to traditional Chinese, and、uh, my computers are all with traditional Chinese. And、uh, yeah, I feel more comfortable with using traditional Chinese. But with Pinyin, is like、uh, Pinyin is much easier to put it on the computer, um, to put it on the screen. Okay, so Pinyin is, is like way much easier. I simply don't know how to use uh how to put Zhuyin on the video. Okay, so that's kind of a technical like problems. That's the first reason I don't use Zhuyin, and the second reason most foreigners they are learning pronunciation with Pinyin. So if I use Zhuyin, they cannot pronounce what I teach. Okay, so I think it's just easier for the learner or the viewers to watch, you know, to to see with、uh, Pinyin instead of Zhuyin. It's really hard for a Mandarin teacher. It's not like a German teacher or French teacher. If you put the text on the video, you just have to put French and English. That's all. But for the Mandarin teacher, what do you have to put? You have to put、mm, traditional Chinese character. You have to put a、uh, simplified Chinese character, and you have to put Pinyin. You have to put、um, you know English translation. That's too busy. You know that's a lot of things, a lot of text on the video lesson. So I think the power is in our hands.、Um, you know to choose、uh, 
which text, like which uh, character we are putting, or uh, whether or we are putting the uh, uh, 注音 or pinyin. The point is, you really learn something, and you know this teacher is from China, that teacher is from Taiwan. This is traditional character. That is a simplified character, right? That's the point. The point is you learn. Right, so I hope you don't mind. And excuse me for keep using traditional Chinese and pinyin on my video lesson. I really want to help you with my video lesson. And, and if you have any constructive suggestions, just put it in the comment below. And、uh, until then, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy my videos. See ya.